Hey guys, got another unboxing in my stash series. So what we got here is an Academy 135th Magash 6B, okay? It's a IDF vehicle, but um, don't really have too many Academy kits in my collection, but this is one that I've wanted. So, you know, it's an Academy's new green style of box art, as you can see here. Um, so... Nice matte finish, okay, so I like that. But on the sides as normal, as all my videos always say, that the two short sides are the same as the front. And But on the bottom, um, some really, whoever's painted this model has done a really good job. Um, just all the weathering and stuff, so it gives you a really good idea what the finished model um, will and can look like. Um, if you put the time and effort into it. Okay, and the top side, the colour call-outs are actually on the box itself. So if you're trying to buy paints of this way at the hobby store or whatever, you've got it all here. It is a skill level 4 out of 5. Um, so, you know, we'll have a look in the box and see if it really is a hard a hard model to build. But, you know, it depends on your skill level. You might find this very easy. But, you know, as, you, as I said before, there's a paint index. So nothing on the bottom, it's just a brown box and cardboard in inlay of the box is actually quite thick. So um, you're not going to worry about your box getting crushed on the shelf. Okay, so we're just going to grab all the paperwork out and everything. I have opened these kits, so that's why they're not original packaging, like it's not laid in as like factory standard. Okay, so we can grab all the paperwork out and we're going to get rid of this. Okay, so we have painting and decal placement, double-sided. Uh, would have been nice if this was if this was color. Okay, um, color would be nice, but hopefully in the future, Academy will start um, keeping up with the rest of the the main, you know, the, the big boys in the game. So let's have a look. So there's not many decals going, most of them go on the back. I think we've got one on the side, just the idea for um, unit markings and also the stripes on the front on the barrel. So that's by the looks of things. Um, that's all we get. And then just some um, check parts list before unsealing. Okay, so obviously um, just a warranty thing, like a thing. Like, so if you know if you do check all the parts and there are parts missing, just send the whole bag back and they'll send you a new sprue, I would dare say. But I've never had that issue with Academy kits. Um, also we do have some just some basic guidelines for beginners so if you are new to the hobby it's worth having a read of this um, just to you know, just to get a rough idea how to deal with all the necessary steps in building a kit and then we got the decal sheet very very simple okay so we do have the barrel markings there the eyed um, Israeli squadron markings and we also have just some numbers and so really there's like eight decals on this sheet so you don't have too many to deal with okay so instructions we have once again the color call outs on here the paint guide so you can see there's humbrol um, we've got enamels and acrylics so they do throw them in there as well uh, we do have um, the mr hobby and the accurate colors we do have life color testers enamel and acrylic and um, we've got Ravels, Enamel and Acrylic and Vallejo. Okay, so there is quite a few paints to choose from um, if you've you know, got those in your collection. But once again, if you don't have any of these, you can always just cross-reference them with the um, the colours. They're in here as well. And you've got them in Korean down the side. So, okay, then you've got all your label, um, your, your just a quick guide on... Um, what these little icons mean throughout the instructions so it is worth having a read of that before you commence and sort of understand them before you um, commence building but you know you can always cross reference back to the front page if you get come across one of these and not sure what they are okay so we've got the lower hole and just a little uh, photograph of the upper deck uh, we do have just some placements where to drill the holes okay um, so we do have the Actually, is a bit of a bit of a complex build for an academy kit just by looking at it. Okay, so we've got all the running gear on the bottom, long on the 
along the lower side of the tank. Okay, and then step four comes the wheels. Wheels, and then we've got all the upper deck details, toolboxes, hatches. Uh, ammunition, looks like ammunition boxes. Okay, we've got some extra armor to add on the front. Okay, so we do have, and that takes us to step seven. We've got all the side, um, side skirts to assemble. So, and they're actually going on the, I like how they're doing this, how they're actually telling you to put them on the, the main upper deck as well, so you can weather all this and then throw all this on in one hit. Okay, so it'd be worth definitely temporarily chuck that on the um, lower hole and test fit it and make sure this is all straight before you glue it all down. And step nine is the turret, some extra armour, okay, more extra armour on top. Okay, so that's step nine. Step ten is all the machine guns are going on. And you got machine gun belt as well. We got the turret basket on the rear. Okay, more machine guns, and we do have. Um, so there's the there's the length that you to measure out to cut for the tow cable in one to one scale. So it does say 170 mils. And I think you get a piece of thread white cord that's in here it's not brass or it's not a plastic tow cable i think it's just a white cord that academy knowledge throws in their kits okay and then we've got jerry can assembly and by the looks of things step 12 step that's it and then you've got a sprue map on the back unused parts there are actually quite a fair few unused parts here as you can see here and i think that calls it that's the instruction book Alright, so we're going to have a look at their box contents. Alright, so here's the upper deck that they're showing you. The details are quite nice, especially on the rear here. Um, and then inside the, it's all bagged as well. So you got the nylon cord um, in here. But if you want to change it to a brass picture frame wire or something, you can obviously do that. It's probably what I'll opt for. Um, and then you get a little brace in the center, which you'll have to remove when you put do put the turret on there. But there's no flash that I can really see. I mean, it's a little bit flashy on the front. Um, so, you know, that's not going to really take much to remove. Okay, and then we've got another sprue, sprue B, um, sprue H. Okay, so you got drive sprockets. Looks like spare road wheels. Okay, details a bit, you know. Okay, I have seen better in some kits, but um, you know, if, if you want to go for extra aftermarket stuff, you can. You do get a commander figure here um, as well, and just all these little details suspension arms or swing arms. There are, and yeah, they're not really that detailed, guys, so like, don't expect awesome detail when it comes to the swing arms. So, I mean, they're pretty average, really, so but we'll see. And once again, we got some nylon tracks. Okay, these will be going in the bin, and I'll be sourcing something else. Um, yeah, so these are going, but yeah, they're pretty average. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you and say they're awesome, but yeah, they're average. If you want to chuck them on, if you do get this kit, you can yourself. Yeah, that tapping sound in the background. That's the bird. So excuse the bird. Okay, so we've got the turret, the lower side of the turret itself, we've got all the road wheels, once again, the road wheels are only detailed on the outside, on the inside they're pretty plain, pretty boring, so, but, um, let's see how we go, we've got a loose pipe float around, a drive sprocket float around the inside, and then we've got all the idler wheels as well, but, hey, that's not too bad. Still a nice detail for an academy kit though, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is a bad kit, it's just, you know, like, with some of the reviews I've done, or unboxing I've done with all the rifles and all that, especially the tack on and the mang kits that are coming up also in the reviews, you'll notice a big difference in quality, but for the price you pay, I didn't really pay too much for this kit, I did pay full retail for this, so, you know, it's just, love my idea for Israeli armour, and then, 
cracking through we got the mantlet cover we do have all the details um, detail plating here we've got a belly it looks like we've got a belly plate here and there's your turret basket okay some of the side fenders okay if I bring you in closely if I just sort of zip this light closer you see there's a detail are actually excuse me for a second. sorry about that um, so you can see the details on these side fenders here, they're actually they're side skirt, not fenders, side skirts. So actually the details are quite nice, riveting, recess panel lines aren't too shallow, and they're not too deep, no, they're just they're just right I think. Okay, and then we've got some more grill details, and it looks like there's some spare track links included in this kit as well. Um, but just these little boxes, looks like, might be ammunition boxes on the side, I'm not too sure. But you can see there, they're pretty nice. And that sprue, um, doesn't say, but it should say, but I just can't see it. Oh, it's not labelled. Okay, so. And then another one, we have the rear, rear grills on the back. Looks like some dumb lift points or tow points, whatever they are, down here. And we have some machine guns. We've got another figure, okay, so with the head, some arms. So we do get some figures in this kit, which is a nice touch. Okay, we have a two piece barrel, but the detail if you can glue this together and manage not to destroy the detail during cleanup. So, I mean, you're going to take a lot of care, or I'm going to have to take a lot of care when I'm gluing this and building the barrel. But the detail on the barrel is really nice, like, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try and bother trying to get an aftermarket barrel because I'm pretty happy with that as is. We've got some small stubby fuel cans as well, okay. And some jerry cans, well they look like, I'm not too sure if they're fuel, water or fuel, but there's some, you know, another jerry cans as well that we used to seeing. Uh, we've got some more machine gun de details here as well, quite nice. Uh, they are one piece, okay, so you do get multiples of that. There's the machine gun ammunition belt there. You gotta get, get quite a few of these in here. So well, there's one, two, three, three included in this sprue. And that's what you get. And the final, 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 final is the lower hull. Okay, so yep, there's a little brace that you have to cut out, and obviously something's gonna go in there, but the details is okay, it's, at least they're putting details in the bottom, which is a plus for me. Um, you'll always hear me say that I'd rather see some kind of detail on the bottom than none at all. Um, the rivet details around the axle, axle points are fairly plain. Um, I might actually sand those back and add more, more details on there. You can see, you can see that. But, um... Yeah, so that's pretty much the what's in this kit, guys. So, thanks for watching, as always. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the sub button. And if you like or dislike this video, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Helps me a lot. Um, happy modeling, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.